Hey friends, today we are hanging out in the Magic Kingdom and I am so excited. Halloween is just a week away and I wanted to come out and do a lap around the park and take in the spooky atmosphere before it's gone. And we got dinner reservations at the Crystal Palace, my favorite character dining buffet. And I figured I'd make a video and share my experiences with you. On top of that, I also wanted to share my thoughts on the new Lightning Lane Premiere Pass that Disney just announced. And I figured uh, we'd ride some rides, eat some food, and have a beautiful Magic Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is a beautiful fall day here in the Magic Kingdom. Temperatures are in the 70s, and I'm excited to just hang out and see if there's anything new in the park. Another thing I would love to do today is go meet Mickey Mouse. I just came back from my trip uh, to New York City and I met Mickey and Minnie in Times Square, not the official ones. And it was kind of a crazy experience. I made a video about it. So if you guys haven't seen my New York video, you should go back and watch it because it was kind of hysterical. I was standing in Times Square taking photos and I took a photo with one Minnie and then uh, that Minnie called over a bunch of other Mickeys and Minnies and even an Elmo and they all hopped in my picture and when we got done with the picture I gave the mini $20 and I was like thank you that's for everybody and she ran away with the money and the other Elmo the other Mickey minis and Elmos started grabbing me and demanding money because they took a picture but I never asked them to take a picture I wanted to give them I gave them $20 and they literally surrounded me so if you guys haven't watched that video you should go back and watch it but today I want to meet the real Mickey Mouse it definitely looks a little bit crowded on Main Street USA, but let's look at the wait times here. Oh, Space Mountain's a 55 minute wait, 80 minutes for Seven Doors Mine Train. You probably can't see any of that because of the glare, but it's definitely busy. Like I mentioned before, I wanted to share my thoughts about the new Lightning Lane Premier Pass, which is a uh, basically a pass that lets you skip all of the lines and ride all of the rides that you want to. And I think it's a little too expensive. It's really interesting, like reading over the details of it. I'll put all of the information up here, but uh, I, I, it was a matter of time before it was going to happen. Like I said, I mean, in a world where everything is getting more expensive, I went to McDonald's the other day and. I got a hash brown it was four dollars i remember when they were two for a dollar so i i you know highly doubt a theme park uh, is going to continue on giving away free lightning lanes or fast passes like they used to but i think they need to like lower it down a little bit uh, i think it goes from 129 dollars to like 300 or 400 dollars and uh, i think that's a little too expensive universal does the same thing i think theirs is like at a low end like 90 dollars but uh they give their annual pass holders free uh express after four you get it when you stay at the resorts so i mean i think it'd be nice if they included it in like the deluxe resorts or gave annual pass holders a discount and stuff like that uh and like i said make it a little bit cheaper the biggest issue with lightning lane uh now is you pay money and you can't ride the rides that you want to ride i was going to try to ride some rides today and i was going to buy the genie plus the lightning lane uh and uh there was nothing available until like 9 p.m tonight so what would be the point of buying it but uh i'll let you guys know once it does come out i plan on buying it and testing it out myself and like i said sharing my experiences with you so let me know in the comments what you guys think and uh it wouldn't be too long i think it's gonna launch this year it looks like Mickey Mouse is only a 25 minute wait here at the Town Square Theater. So I think we're gonna start there. Wait a second, what is this magic? Oh! <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. We were about to walk in to Mickey, uh, the meet and greet. It was a 25 minute wait and then it just switched to a 40 right in front of my eyes. I guess I gotta be a little quicker. So maybe we'll come back cause I think it'll go down a little later on. Now I just wanna go explore the park a little bit, but I do wanna see Mickey. <laughs> it looks like even Monsters Inc is a high wait time. Look at that. 20 minutes or oh, 15 minutes it just went down to but that's just a show so it's definitely busy so I guess it's lunch for now lunch it is our reservation at the Crystal Palace is in uh, 45 minutes and I wanted to ride a ride or two before we go eat but uh, we might have to wait until afterwards because like I said if I wait in line right now for any of the rides it'll be just time to go check in uh, at the Crystal Palace so I think we're just gonna linger around a little bit and then go get something to eat and then hopefully come out ride some rides 
Here it is, the Crystal Palace, a buffet with character. Winnie the Pooh and friends invite you to indulge yourself in a bountiful buffet. Uh, it is $61 for adults and $40 for children, uh, but it's all you care to enjoy, and they've got pastas, baked breads, carved beef, peel and eat shrimp, a lot of good stuff. And I was uh, thinking that they were doing something special for Halloween, but I think that's only for the Halloween party. Until then, they've got some really cool, like, decorations outside i like this little crystal palace pumpkin look at that cp during mickey's not so scary halloween party they actually have the characters dressed up in their halloween costumes but i think it's only available for the party and that's okay like i just want to come eat here anyway because i love this restaurant uh but maybe next year or if i end up going to another party before the end of the season i think i'd like to come back i want to see it like a little halloween decor maybe Oh, the hip hip hooray parade is happening. <laughs> Look at the yard. I love this restaurant. You just saw them doing the parade, but each character will come around to the table and you'll be able to take photos with them and kind of interact with them a little bit more. Uh, and I think Winnie the Pooh's coming out. Uh-oh. Pooh Bear's coming. Pooh Bear's coming. Hi, Pooh. How are you? My mom says hi. She's a big fan. You know? Moms love Pooh Bear. Yeah, moms love Pooh. That, uh, you know, that's the truth. Uh, but uh, thanks for having me out. I'm excited to uh, have some good food and uh, enjoy oh, Friendship yeah. Day. Can you share your honey with them? Okay. Oh, well, thanks for the honey. But don't tell anyone it's a secret. Oh, I won't tell anyone. <laughs> Just like that. And I always tell uh, Winnie the Pooh that my mom is a big fan because my mom absolutely loves Winnie the Pooh. My mom loves this restaurant too. I think she said this is her favorite restaurant on Disney property. And I'm glad he came over now because now we can go up to the buffet. Here is a look at the buffet. They have a nice little kid section here with quesadilla, pizza, mac and cheese, chicken nuggets. Then they got a salad bar over here. They even got pretzel rolls, plenty of bread, salad, fruit cocktail and shrimp cocktail. I don't know if it's fruit cocktail. I think that's just fresh fruit, but I wanted to put cocktail on both of them. And then here's the main event. We've got chicken, fried chicken with pepper gravy and hot honey, mashed potatoes, collard greens, broccoli, baby potatoes, carrots, grits, shrimp, salmon. They got a lot. Some chicken, some roasted pork it looks like. They even have gumbo. I'm going to be getting some of that gumbo. And then they have a carving station with uh, prime rib and uh, I don't know what else they have there. It looks like turkey. And it's pretty big. The same uh, goes for the other side. It's the same food that they have on this side. It's just duplicated except for the kids section. I think they usually have a couple different items. Oh no, looks like the same. Pizza, quesadilla, mac and cheese and chicken nuggets. The same all. They have pork loin here and then prime rib. And if you want it cooked a little more, they have a broiler top back there that they sear it up on an open fire. And I kind of like that. I always like it a little charred on the outside. Red in the middle, charred on the outside. Thank you. Look at that. Nice little charred marks, looking good. Now we just need to get the au jus. It smells amazing though. I got a simple plate to start. Just some beef, potatoes, and carrots. That's all you need, and I'm so excited. I remember getting this last time, and I was like, wow, that's the best prime rib on property. Because like it's all you can eat, and they cook it to whatever temperature you want. The best thing to do with this beef is just set it inside there, Ooh, and don't make a mess, and let it sit and soak up all those juices. Give it about a minute, it be good to go. There you go, that's how you do it. A nice helping of uh, prime rib, soaked in au jus. How is it going today, Eeyore? Hopefully a nice, beautiful day, full of excitement. Uh, kinda. No. <laughs> well, I love coming to eat here. The food is fantastic, and uh, you just make me happy. <laughs> oh, you stop. Thanks, Eeyore. I love Eeyore so much. Oh, and now Tigger's here. I love you too. <laughs> I just saw Eeyore and I got to meet Pooh and now uh, I get to see you. Oh, very cool. Are you having a good day? Hopping around? Bouncing? That's the way. My mom says hi. She wants me to tell every single one of you. So uh, she's a big fan. 
Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. I'll make sure to give her two more. <laughs> if you're seeing this, Mom, I told every single character you said hi, and they want you to come back and come get something to eat at the Crystal Palace. Just so you know. <laughs> I came back up for my second round, and I wanted to show you the desserts. They have a strawberry chocolate cupcake, carrot cake cheesecake, honey mousse cake, honey flan, and then a nice little parfait there, too. And I like that. It's all different uh, Winnie the Pooh stacks. Everything with honey, a lot of honey. I honestly could just eat chicken and mashed potatoes and prime rib and mashed potatoes all day here. That's what I end up getting is some of the, the chicken with the country gravy and the hot honey. Add some mashed potatoes to it. Mm. <laughs> These country fried chicken tenders are so good. Look at that. Nice breading to them and a good seasoning too. Now my fork is stuck. Oh, I almost lost my chicken. Oh, and here's Piglet. Hi, Piglet. How you doing? You having a good day? Yeah? Oh, well, thanks for uh, having me out. Well, thanks for letting me come out. I enjoy all the food. It's very nice, and I'm excited for Friendship Day. You made it? What'd you make? I, I think you made the strawberry cupcakes. I can see it. Oh, wow. That one right there. Oh, I'm going to go get one. I'm going to get a strawberry cupcake in your honor, Piglet. Thank you. <laughs> I had to go get one of those strawberry cupcakes that Piglet prepared. Look at that. Strawberry and chocolate. Oh, there's like chocolate sauce underneath the icing. Look at that. Do you see it? Oh, I'm excited. And there's chocolate in the middle. They also give you this nice little Welcome to Friendship Day celebration card. And all the characters sign it. I'll probably save this for my mom. The Crystal Palace was amazing like always, but now I think we're gonna make our way back down to see Mickey Mouse. Uh, hopefully the wait time went down a little bit. It doesn't go up as soon as we get there. Oh, somebody's wearing one of my shirts again. Look at this. Right there. He's got the, the, the uh, PG Mr. Mario polo. I love that. Hey man, I love this shirt, dude. Oh. Nice. <laughs> It looks like it went down to a 35 minute wait. 35, so it went down five minutes, but I'll take it. Usually it's Mickey and Tinkerbell in here, but Tinkerbell's closed because of the Halloween season, and they have Jack and Sally back there. It's like a really nice setup. Uh, but uh, I think Mickey, I think this line should go pretty quick. I love the queue for the uh, Mickey meet and greet because they have a McDuck safe in here. Look at that. I wonder what they would have behind there. Like, probably gold or Mickey ice cream bars. Here he is, the master magician himself, Mickey Mouse. Hi, Mickey. How you doing, pal? Having a good day? Any good magic tricks? Hmm. You are the masterful, uh, the, the magnificent. Mickey the magnificent. <laughs> Where'd he go? <laughs> <laughs> wow, that was the best magic trick I've ever seen. Ta-da! I loved it. Thank you, Mickey. Now, that's the real deal Mickey Mouse there. He even did a really cool magic trick. I thought that was so funny. And sometimes I get nervous talking to characters because I don't know what to say. So I trip over my words. But Mickey always guides you. He always kind of gives you, like, some prompt or something like that. And I absolutely love that. Now, I think uh, maybe we'll go ride the train. Since we're right here and all the wait times are long, it's probably the only uh, attraction or the only ride that doesn't have a long wait. I can hear the train coming into station right now. There it is, just in time. I wonder which train it is, actually. Doesn't look like there's any line at all for the good old train. Those friendly faces already. Not to worry. On this train, it's never goodbye. It's always see you real soon. You packed a compass because that, folks, is the sound of adventure. Uh, adventure land, I should say. Where the navigating wild jungle rivers, swashbuckling with jolly buccaneers, or even just scaling a towering treehouse, please carry your strollers all the way off the platform before unfolding. Watch your step now. This is Frontier Land Station. All right, fellas, please remain. Look at Tiana's in there. Fancy. I will let you know when you can exit the train. And 
and remain. I ran into my friend Quincy uh, from yeah. All Ears Net, and she's trying to ride every single ride in the Magic Kingdom right, today. All clear, guys. This is Ten down. Ten down. Twenty-ish to go. You got this. We'll see, thank you. We're Look, there's someone wearing my shirt again, right there. Before carrying oh, I love that. USA. Everybody stay seated. You see him? Your hands hey, nice shirt, man. Nice shirt. The train. And as always, keep nice the shirt, man. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Is there? The trains have a mind of their own. Look at this. Is such a good view. Look at that goat up there. Oh, I want to see Big Thunder come through. Ah, oh, looks like it's about to come down right there. Oh, there it goes. Oh, wow, this is so peaceful and relaxing. Howdy, folks. If you're just joining us, a hearty welcome aboard. We're heading for our next stop, Fantasyland, before carrying on to Main Street, USA. Everybody stay seated and keep your hands and arms, feet and legs safely inside the train. It was nice to ride the railroad for a little bit. It was also fun to see Quincy. I can't believe she's going to try to ride every ride today. She got 10 down and she did the bigger one. So I'm interested in to see uh, how she makes out. But now I think we're going to get off here at Fantasyland and walk around a little bit. I had high hopes for uh, the Barnstormer, but holy moly, look at the line. It's almost going back to Tron here. This is uh, a very, very busy day. Wow, this is intense. This is like one of the smaller rides where uh, usually there's not that long of a wait, but not today. After seeing that long line at the Barnstormer, I kind of wish we just stayed on the train and did a full loop because then we could just leave the park. Now I'm thinking we should just call it quits and start making our way down Main Street. But I do want to stop and maybe get a snack or two. I didn't even know they had this Mr. Toad photo opportunity all the way in the back of Fantasyland. Look, I mean, we're all the way in the back here and there's no photo pass photographers, but you can hop in a car and uh, pretend like you're riding Mr. Toad's wild ride again. That is definitely something I miss here in the Magic Kingdom. Dark rides, like I would love if they brought back Mr. Toad or Snow White or Pinocchio from Disneyland. And I think the more dark rides and the smaller rides will help with the wait times here because I'll tell you what, if they had like five dark rides in Fantasyland here, I probably would never wait in line to ride Tron or Seven Doors Mine Train. I would just ride those all day because I love them so much. Just look at how busy it is over here by Seven Doors Mine Train. I'd love to ride Winnie the Pooh, because that's a great dark ride, but I'm sure the wait time has got to be pretty high, just because there's so many people. Look, the queue's actually overfilling now. Wow, look at it over there. And I'm sure Seven Doors Mine Train is pretty long, too. But you know, it's a very busy day when all of the rides have long wait times. It's not like one of them's 120 minutes, and then some of them are 20 minutes or anything like that. Look, right here's the queue for Seven Doors Mine Train. Starting right here. Oh, it doesn't even have an estimated wait time. Well, we're not riding that today. It looks like Seven Doors Mine Train is a 90 minute wait. I mean, I've seen higher, but still, 90 minutes is a long, long wait. I stopped in the Cosmic Rays to see Sunny Eclipse, but I don't know where he went to. I don't know where they put him when uh, they're doing like the Halloween season and they have the Disney Junior Jam in here. Does he go under like the stage there? Is Sunny Eclipse under there just hanging out in the dark? And I wonder if he's still singing. I think I'm going to stop at Anti-Gravity, the ice cream spot in Tomorrowland, because they have a new Halloween Sunday there, and I haven't tried it yet. And I still can't believe I haven't tried all the Halloween snacks here in the Magic Kingdom. I feel like uh, I've been here at least three or four times since it got all spooky. Take a look at that. Candy corn soft serve sundae. Sweet corn soft serve with butterscotch shell and candy corn. I think I'm going to try it. And here it is, the candy corn sundae. And I like how they added a little butterscotch like uh, topping there. It's starting to melt a little bit and look like candy corn soup. So I think we're gonna dive right on in. I can't believe I haven't tried this yet. It's been around for a while and I'm afraid, I don't wanna, 
I don't want to break the shell, but I'm going to do it. I'm breaking the shell. Look at that. Oh, wow. It's like really shelly. It's really shelly. Look at that. Oh, man. I'm excited to try this. It's such a good Halloween treat. Cheers to Halloween. I was not expecting to love this as much as I do because it's, I, I don't like candy corn. I don't like candy corn like that. So I'm not going to eat the candy in there, but the flavor, like the corn uh, uh, Dole Whip and then the butterscotch uh, hard shell, what a combination. For the longest time, I thought this was only available for the party, but they sell it all like day long. And they even started selling the uh, popcorn buckets, the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween uh, party buckets, the ones that my mom had to get. Now they're selling them all throughout the day, so they're not just party exclusives. But I'm glad that I, uh, I'm glad that we got to try this. I think I just like the corn flavoring the most. We've made it down to Main Street, USA, and now it's time to start making our way home and go check in on Gracie Girl. That corn sundae was really good, though, and I'm glad that we stopped and got it. Another reason why it's probably so busy here at the Magic Kingdom today, Epcot closed at 5 p.m. So Epcot's closing at 5. This is the only time people can come to the Magic Kingdom to watch Happily Ever uh, After this week. That just makes, like, that's like brewing a big disaster. I can't even believe that. I don't even know. I wonder why Epcot closed at 5. I know sometimes uh, they do, like, special events and things like that. Uh, so maybe they got, like, something cool going on there tonight. This might be my last time to say goodbye to these pumpkins here. Like I said, I don't know if I'll be back to the Magic Kingdom before Halloween. And uh, they don't wait. They uh, immediately switch over to Christmas, usually the day after sometimes. I'm so happy to see Gracie again. I missed her a lot when I was up in New York City. I decided to step out and grab a Dunkin' Donuts real quick. And I had to get Gracie her little pup cup. I give her a little pup cup. You want a pup cup? Watch, she'll take it. Take it. Well, no, don't eat it. Don't make a mess. Take it. Thank you. <laughs> She's going to make a mess. <laughs> she put it in the seat so that she can hold it upright. Look at her. Is that a good pup cup? And with that, I think we are done here today. I got my pumpkin spice iced coffee. I'm telling you, I'm going to miss the fall season when it's gone, but I'm super excited for Christmas time. I plan on going to Jollywood, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. There are so many cool holiday festivities, literally in just two weeks. And I checked, I probably added it to the video, but the new Lightning Lane Premiere Pass starts October 30th, and it's going to be available to just the Lux Resort guest. I'll put like the information uh, probably back when I was uh, letting you guys know my thoughts. So I'm excited to test it out. I mean, my biggest concern, it says that uh, included in it is like some of the, the biggest rides, uh, but I would like to see like the full list. Like, does that include Tron, Seven Doors Mine Train, Flight of Passage, Slinky Dog? There's a lot of questions to be had, and especially if you're going to be paying a couple hundred dollars. Like I said, the low end of that was $129, so that's on the least busiest days. But on Christmas Day, to like buy that pass, it's probably going to be $450. And that is, like I said, a lot of money. Money. A lot, a lot of money. And every theme park in the country is doing this right now. Most of them have like an express pass that you pay and it just lets you skip the lines. Disney was the only person, like the only theme park that was kind of doing it differently. And I wish they would bring back Fast Pass. I mean, for the amount of money that you do pay to go to Disney World, uh, it, it definitely seems like they got to give you a reason to keep coming back. You know what I mean? Like, because. It's a little bit more expensive than your regular theme park. You know, going to like Six Flags or Hershey Park or any of those other parks, uh, the tickets are cheaper, the food's cheaper, but that's what makes Disney Disney. And like I said, people are still going to buy it. I mean, uh, a system that is expensive to skip the line has been around forever. It's called VIP Tours. And that costs almost $1,000 an hour with like a seven hour minimum. So like you're looking at a couple thousand dollars, uh, but that's for up to 10 people. If you were to do it with 10 people paying the max amount, uh, like $449, then it would cost you uh, 4000 like $5,000. And honestly, that's kind of cheaper than a VIP tour. Like if you start doing the math, like 
a lot of people are probably gonna rather just go get their own pass now i also see um now i'm on a tangent of things like i'm wondering because not everything has been revealed yet but does that include all the parks or can you just buy it for one park because to me paying 449 dollars on a busy day just to ride rides at animal kingdom doesn't make sense but if you can park hop and go ride all the other rides at the other parks too i think you know what i mean on a very busy day if you're on vacation uh and that's the only way to do it like i said i would probably do that uh i'm sure people like like feel the same way about the vip tours you know they'd be like oh well we're only down here for a weekend we might as well go heavy especially if they have the funds to afford it but uh in the end like i said I think they need to lower the price, make it a little bit more affordable for everybody and uh, kind of, you know, like make it beneficiary to the annual pass holders and people that, you know, repeat come to the parks, you know, or the ones that pay a lot of money to stay at the, 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 the deluxe resorts. Because when you stay at Universal Studios on property, they give you an express pass just for staying at the resort. So like it's kind of an added benefit to stay on property. Uh, but I don't think they're going to do that here. They're just going to give you the option to buy it. So if I want to go test out the new uh, Lightning Lane Premier Pass, October 30th. First, I'm going to need to book a deluxe resort for that night. So that's kind of set me back a couple hundred bucks. And then I have to buy the pass. Now, I don't know what uh, the opening day price is going to be for the first day. But if it's like $200, you're looking at just $1,000 for myself. And that is a steep, uh, a steep uh, climb there. So... Yeah, I'm interested. But like I said, let me know what you guys think. And uh, yeah, I think we're done here. Just hanging out, drinking the iced coffee. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Look at that little precious angel. Are you sitting down relaxing out by the pool? Yes, you are. I love you. I love your spots.